thank you. I can't make this week's loan payment. Look into your hard drive and open your mercy file. File not found. Let that be a warning to you. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Yo Joe Jerk Toy Review. I'm your host, David Wong, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Arctic Pack. All right, and let's take a look at the package. Over here, we have our delightful new Arctic bat. Looks like there's a Cobra Rattler crashed in the back. We got this big old G.I. Joe cargo plane up here. Over here, we have this awesome new render. Up here, we get all of our accessories and fun stuff. On this side of the package, we have the brand new QR code. Down here, itty bitty, we have all of its battle stats and a Cobra symbol. On this side of the package, we have this beautiful render of the Arctic Bat again. Down here, we have the number 69. 69, dudes! On the back of the package, we have a nice little digital render, including all of its accessories and its height. Over here, we get a picture of the bat's arm for no fucking reason. Down here, we get a picture of the bat's head for no fucking reason. Over here, we got a bunch of shitty legal mush. On the bottom of the package, we have the plastic free, more legal mush. And a barcode, barcode, barcode! All right, let's get this battle android open. Cut, pop. Hey, let me see if my pullout game's any good. Oh, and there it is, fancy dancy. Here's a quick preview of my dead robot in the box. Wake up, robot. Wake up, please. I love you, robot. Wake up. Over here, we got the Foot Locker. It's the same deal going on. Arctic Bat number 69. All right, let's pop that open. We got a whole lot of fruit snacks. Let's get the fuck that going. Over here, we got a giant bag of fun. Giant bag of fun. I'ma spin it. And shake them up. Aww. And they all fell out and that ruined everything. Apparently they don't seal the fruit snack bag anymore. So I'm sorry if I robbed you all that fun. All right. Let's look at this Arctic bat. And right away on the head sculpt. This is how you do a repaint. Add some new accessories. Change it up just the hair. And ba-bang. You get this. And this thing looks like something out of Metal Gear Solid. Or even Galleon. Has a really cool paint scheme. Nice detail in the face plate. Here's a look at the back. Down here on the legs, we get the standard bat boots just repainted. They have a grayish color. Got some silver paint here and here. Up here at the knees, we get the double jointed pinless. Same deal as the original bat. Up here on the thigh, this is where things get brand new and interesting. They did these new leg pads with a holster over here. Nice sculpted detail with texture. Like the brown and the black color really bring it out. On this side, same deal. Up at the waist, we get this entirely new belt. Nice sculpted detail into the buckle. Down here, another pouch with a buckle. Over here, we got a pouch. On the back, more padding with paint. On this side, another pouch. Up on the chest plate, we get this electric blue shiny paint, which looks amazing. Some of the inner workings are painted black with a nice silver trim around it. The grenades are just made out of plastic and glued in. Up on the arms here, we get this new armor plate. It's just a separate piece, but it looks good. It changes the figure up almost completely. I'm not gonna go over articulation because I don't do that anymore really, unless we get Get something new but this is basically just the standard bat articulation i did notice i have a freezy joint up here at the shoulder so if you give it hell you're gonna gap this arm and i'm not willing to do it because i have enough gi joes that have gap and you can see i almost started it there good paint and a good color scheme all right let's take a look at these accessories first up we're going to take a look at the sniper rifle. This is the same sniper rifle that came with the PulseCon exclusive Master of Disguise Zartan. It's just been repainted here. It's made out of the gooey plastic they've been doing, so the weapon's all warped. Silencer does come off. The port for blast effects works fine on this. Down here, we have a bipod that moves up and down. Over here, we can pull this down and pull the clip out. 
goes right back in. This shuts. The strap is really annoying. It's molded, so it's going to stay like that. Next step, we get the backpack. It's the same old backpack. It's cast in a gray plastic. There's no paint on it. Here we have the pistol. Now it is the same exact pistol that comes with every bat. Cast in that gray plastic, not much going on. Zero paint. Muzzle does have a port for blast effects. Next up, we get the chainsaw attachment. It's got nice silver paint on the blade. The chain itself is just that cast gray plastic along with the rest of the body here. It's got some black paint on the exhaust port on the top of the engine as well. On the bottom, it's just going to peg into the hand. Here we have the chest plate. You just get a black cobra symbol. It's the same one that you get with every bat. Here, you get the battle damaged one that comes with almost every bat. No paint or decals. This is the upgraded chest plate, which is amazing. We get all these little pouches, some reinforced body armor, and the whole thing sitting on a big gray plate. If you flip it over, it just has the indents to port right into the chest plate. It also has this gray and green paint across the front. And last, we have the regular bat head sculpt. And this looks really nice. On the side, it says Arctic Polarized, and that is exactly what you get on the faceplate. The paint mimics polarization really well. It did not fill up the whole area too well and has a bunch of scratches on it from the factory. But all in all, it's a really cool paint scheme. I really like it. And here's the bat with the head sculpt on. It matches really well. So if you don't want to use the crazy cyborg head on this body, this head works perfectly. Perfectly. Here he is with the battle damage chest plate. It's a nice add-on, but it's really not needed. It's pretty plain, Jane. Here he is with the regular chest plate and cobra symbol. This looks tight. And here he is with the upgraded chest plate. And this is fucking phenomenal. Like, now this figure looks completely different from all the other bats. And this is what they should do with repaints. Do like new chest plates, new belts, maybe some arm guards. Here he is with the chainsaw attachment, and this thing is phenomenal as well. New accessories, it brings life in the old figures, who'd have thunk it? But this is awesome, this is definitely how I'm gonna display him with this chainsaw hand. Very awesome. Here he is with the pistol, we all know what that looks like, cause we all have a bat. But it fits in the hand no problem and looks great. The pistol also ports into the holster, no problem, looks good in there. The backpack fits in no problem, looks really good. Now, as far as the extra hand, we're gonna peg it into the back, and it fits in there really well. I'm not having any problems, it's not going anywhere. Here's the bat holding the sniper rifle, and this is where we encounter a problem. Over here in the hand area where the strap wraps around, it pushes against here, and because the bat hands are very small. You can see here that the gun's just never gonna fit in that hand good. It's very loose. There's no trigger guard to hold the figure. So that gun's just gonna float unless you got two hands on it. It's also molded for another figure, so it's not gonna sit on him very well. But it's still an awesome addition. And that's it for all the accessories on this bad boy. So here's a quick comparison of all the bats so far. And I know we want a few little kit bashes here, so let's get this started. Let's grab you. So unfortunately, the awesome new head does not want to pour in to the original bat body. So we, we can kiss that goodbye, unfortunately, because I thought the black on black would look awesome and really vary it up and maybe get a couple of Arctic bats and they would be your, like, general regular bats. But that shit ain't gonna happen unless I use a Dremel, so I'm not doing that. But here is the original bat with the new armored chest plate and i think that looks phenomenal that can vary up your bat army really well 
And here's the original with the chainsaw, and guess what? It's not gonna pour it in, it's so loose. It's gonna fall the fuck out. Let's see if we can try it on the red bastard. And here is the crimson bat with the ninja head and the new chest plate on there. And this just looks sick. This is awesome. I really like the way that this head and chest plate can really change up these bats. Good news, the chainsaw attachment fits into this port amazingly. It's in there tight. It isn't going anywhere. It contrasts really awesome with the black, gray, and the silver all together. So you can really go kit bash crazy with the extra parts from this Arctic bat. And it's just fucking awesome. Look at that. Also, here's the crimson bat with the white chest plate. That also really makes them stand out. Now it's your turn, Python Patrol. Now, unfortunately, we run into the same problem as the original bat. The, the head pegs are different, so you're either going to change out your head peg, which is pretty easy with a heat and pop, but I'm not doing that here, or you're going to have to dremel the head, which I'm also not doing here. So here he is with the chest plate. Again, it looks awesome. The grays and the browns match the pants, so this little attachment right here just works awesome on every bat to just change them up so well. Bad news is the chainsaw doesn't fit and completely falls out on this one. So no chainsaws for Python Patrol. And for size comparison, we have them with Shipwreck and Sergeant Slaughter. Here we have them with Pimpin' Ain't Easy Destro and Firefly. Here we have them with the retro carded Storm Shadow and the Amazon exclusive Roadblock. Here we have them with the adventure series Indiana Jones. Over here we have them with my dude Earl Keats. And here we have them with a Marvel Legends Iron Man and Marvel Legends Ultimate Captain America. So at the end of the day, and my final thoughts on this guy is, he's awesome. He's a great upgrade with awesome new accessories. The paint scheme is great. He does have a seized joint up here, but a little hot air or some hot water will probably free it up. One other thing I didn't go over that I missed was the chainsaw does not plug into the backpack at all, which really sucks. I like how you can kit bash him with the crimson bat but all in all it's a fucking win highly recommend it and that's all i got this week people i'd like to thank you for stopping by and i'll catch you on the next review don't forget to like share and subscribe